All right, start recording, and we'll go ahead and switch switch the switch the category on over on Twitch. The angler zero followers. Damn, I got more followers in this game. Yo, I need to play Dredge. It looks so fucking cool. Yeah, I've just I've started. You're talking about your talk about Mech Warriors got me uh, starting a new playthrough of uh, BattleTech, not on campaign but but on career mode. But yes, this is the Anglerfish project. I do not know anything about it really. Let's go ahead and just take a quick look at what we got. Hi, crank it all up, crank it all up. I'd like to crank that shit. Advanced graphics, VSync on, please. Guess I can't turn that on in borderless window. Audio, good. Mouse and keyboard. WASD, good. All right. All right, let's check this game out. Start. Uh, let's give this guy a different voice. Since I was a child, I always dreamt about reaching the stars. Back on Earth, I used to meet a friend at the lighthouse he was keeping and look at the stars together. Alex be cranking it! <laughs> Just the same way we're looking at them now. <clears throat> and among the cards and wi and among cards and whiskey, from time to time, I looked up and asked myself, What's happening out there? Funny that my job now consists in finding that out. Or better put, helping the Foundation find that out. But hey, I'm here. Alone, but not lonely. After all, I have the entire universe to listen to. And I have you to listen to me. Joaquin Phoenix Joker Alex. Hey, that's a compliment. Hell yeah. You get what you fucking deserve! I, can't. I wish I could do a Joaquin Phoenix impression. He is quickly becoming one of my favorite actors. I loved him so much in Joker and in... Uh, like, I didn't like Bo is Afraid. I don't think that's a very good movie, but I fucking love him as Bo. And I have you to listen to me. A drag notice, notices a buzz in his right ear. He first hears the static. <clears throat> and then there is the voice. Welcome to your first... Welcome to your first day on the Anglerfish Project. I see you've already attached the probe to your fishing rod. That's great news. It seems that you already know each other, but I do. F but I feel I must do the proper thing and introduce you both. Padraig, that probe you've attached is called Paul. Paul, this is Padraig. You both make a team. Enjoy your lurk, Soviet, and Vea has brought me soup and sandwiches. Can you set this up? Thank you for the super sandwich, Vea. You both make a team. Without Paul, you won't be able to see anything in the sky, so be careful and look after him. You don't want to lose him. Padraig, you are the angler, and you will cast Paul into space, and he will receive and decode all the interesting data that's floating around you. That's why you are here, to crawl space. That's what you signed up for, to help the Foundation keep it safe. You bring light into the darkness. That's what the Anglerfish Project is about. And now I need to make sure that your equipment works correctly. I need you to throw Paul into the areas of space where there's some kind of alteration. Different people see these areas differently, so I cannot give you a proper description, but you should recognize them immediately when you see them. Is it that? Some refer to them as big, bright, trembling patches. That's your catch. I will be tracking all the transmissions and reach out to you whenever I think it's necessary, or if I need something specific from you. Talk to you later, Angler. I'm actually going to turn this up. This is a bit too quiet. Oh, wow, yeah. I think we just need to turn the music up, because, like, there doesn't seem to be any dialogue... We'll go ahead and just crank the music to 75%. How about that? <sighs> Here we go. Continue. Alright, so there's my movement. Not very... Oh, oh, I can feel the curvature of the world. Aim. Oh, that's cool. Okay, now Paul is in position. You may... You must help him decipher the information. Once you've done it, the message will play immediately. Continue. Ah, that's the point there. Success! This is the first data package we've discovered together. Paul. Success! This is the first data pass it package we discovered together. Smiley face. Paul. The Foundation. Test. Once, oh, okay, okay, I see you've got the message. Your equipment seems to be working fine. Tell me, did you like the message? Oh, sorry. Don't try to reply back. This is a one-directional channel over... 
Only, we have reasons to be this way. I said if you to think of an answer. I know mine. I don't like it. I told the guys, hey, put something funny. But no, they didn't want to. Hi there. Hi there. Hi, Mr. Witty. How you doing? Hmm. Making a bite of sandwich. There we go. It's good. Instead, we just got tests. Can you believe it? Even Hello World would be better. Or I don't know. Hello Universe. Isn't it better? Oh well. Doesn't matter. You're good to go. Your tasks are simple. Keep doing what you've just done, and I'll hop in when I consider necessary. Don't worry. I'll be monitoring you constantly. I eventually read everything you've downloaded, and I'll call you when I consider it necessary. Things get too confusing or boring. Remember our model, our motto. We help the people. It helps me. Talk to you later, Angler. Alrighty, let's look for another Anomalies. There we go, there's one. Let's go ahead and cast this bad boy. Hell yeah. Let's run the Decipher on this one. Ah, right there. There we go. Success. I think we are a great team. Downloading the message? Public broadcast. All machinery with synthetic souls are no longer considered safe. Jesus. If you have any machinery of this kind, please bring it to the closest disposal center. I'll repeat it. Synthetic souls are no longer safe. They're an enemy of the Foundation, and they're considered illegal weapons from now on. All right. Good start. Holy shit. Did Tali write that message? Good catch, Angler. That message was completely useless, but I see you're getting the hang of it. Soon you'll be able to do some real work. By the way, regarding this being a one-directional channel, I hope you're not too sad about it. But I must explain, so listen well. It's very important that you realize I'm not your friend, but Paul can be. I want to say it again so it's clear between us. Even though I'm friendly, I can't be your friend. Good start. What the fuck? <laughs> right? Do you feel lonely? Don't talk to me. Talk to Paul. Do you miss Earth? Don't talk to me. Talk to Paul. Are you afraid of the future? Yes. Don't talk to me. Talk to Paul. And please, don't expect an answer. It's a machine. A very dumb one, by the way. But I assure you, he will listen deeply and will care very much about you. Just don't expect an answer, okay? Good. I'm glad it's clear. I'm sorry for that. It's the worst part of this job, you know. Telling you and the others that they don't. Well, you know. It's not an easy task. And no wonder this dude keeps a bottle of whiskey nearby. Holy shit. Talk to you later, Angler. Great work so far. Keep it going. This feels very Eastern European. You know? I I get the vibe that this is like... Like, it, it's given me, like, not stalker vibes, because, you know, but, like, just the inherent lack of value that average people have is a very consistent theme in, like, media out of Eastern Europe, you know? Maybe it's just because I'm reading a lot of stalker. And so I, I've been... I've had that on the brain. Let's read this signal. Decipher one... Simple little game here. There we go. Success. This is fun. Let's see what it says. Paul. SOS. Last 30 seconds recorded. Hey, love. Have you seen much Arja? I'm about to shut down. Honey, why are you looking at me like that? Have I done something wrong? Why are you think? Why are you tying me down? Please say something. Honey, please don't go. Don't leave me here like this. Well, shit. Guess that guy got got. Stop aiming. Uh, let's go over here then? Maybe one of the... No? Okay, that doesn't count. How about that? That's a star. Okay. Uh, oh, there's one. Get it. Run to Cypher. There's one. There's the other. Got it. Success. Hey, pa hey Patraig. Thank you for handling me with care. Ball. Advertisement. The most humane food ever! Tastes like chicken, but has no chicken. The favorite of the Foundation employees. Try it out! I see you're getting the hang of it. Think you're ready for a more important line of work. Listen, there's a situation and our agents are in the dark. We need your help. You shouldn't worry about the details. The only thing you need to know is that an illegal group has stolen important cargo. That cargo may or may not contain illegal weapons, and we don't know where they are. We need a transmission that contains their coordinates so we can extract that cargo safety, safely. They're using encrypted communications, and they think they're safe, but your probe should be able to break through them. I'm going to expand the frequency range of your probe so you can access real data now. Give me one second. And it's done. You should be able to see more interesting packages now. 
These messages are going to be encrypted and won't be as easy to decipher as the other ones, but I know you'll handle it well. Oh, there's my house. Good luck, angler. Damn. Request probe unavailable. Reason found closely. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, no, I just feel like that's a, that's a common thing with Eastern European media, I, and I feel that theme resonating strongly here. Ah, there's one. Oh, damn, it's already partially opened. That looks evil as fuck. All right, we got it. Let's run the decipher. Perfect. Success. Can't wait to see what this one says. Paul. Paul, my beloved. Hello? Can you read this? It's me, Egdon. El Elgon? Ed Edgon. We'll go with Edgon. Hello? Can you read this? It's me, Edgon. Ah, I see you found an anomaly. That's something I haven't warned you about. There are some regions of space that you, ca you cast your probe into that are different. The probe does a pretty good job blocking them, but sometimes you may find some distressing things. So this is technically a fishing game? Yeah, Adam, I think it is. But it's like you're fishing for signals. Also, good to see you. Welcome. Things that shouldn't be here. They can crack space if you manipulate them too often. Awesome! But don't worry too much. They aren't common, and the cracks will heal in their due time. You aren't causing permanent damage. Oh, great. Good to hear. However, you shouldn't cast your probe there. There's nothing useful for us. Try other more productive spots next time. See you around, angler. Gee, what's the first fucking thing I'm going to do? Oh no, say goodbye to Paul. He's never coming back. Next time, be careful not to cast him with all your strength if you aren't aiming at an alteration. The cable can break and you'll be sending Paul to the other side of the cosmos. Forever. Damn, sorry Paul. I don't know how much you've bonded, but I'd suggest a minute of silence in his memory. Well, I think this encounter's a minute if we put a bit of imagination into it, don't you think? Don't worry, that Paul is gone forever, but you can request a new one on your base. Use the machine that is in front of your tent to request a new one. Follow the sun to reach your campsite if you get lost. A new Paul will be born inside of that machine from the resources of the asteroid you're standing on, eager to become your partner. Jesus, alright, well Paul's fucking dead. I feel sad now. It won't be the same Paul you bonded with, but it will be a Paul nonetheless, and you'll discover again that he is very nice. That said, you know what's not nice? Sending Paul into outer space. That's mean, and expensive, and the old Paul won't forgive you. Damn, Overseer's a dick, right? So please, don't do that again. And to the new one. He wouldn't do it to you. Well, he's a fool. Let's go, gra <laughs> Let's go grab a new Paul. Shit, I didn't think that would happen. Uh, I didn't know. Sorry, guys, I, I won't kill any more Pauls, I promise. At the end of the stream, Alex killed thousands of Pauls. We tried to get him to stop. We screamed. We yelled. He did not listen. He laughed and laughed and laughed. Sending incinerations. Oh god! That This kills the old Paul? Hey, Paul. Good to see you. Alright, let's not do that again. Let's give Paul a new name. Yeah, you're an individual. You're not Paul. We'll call you Paul. Glorbo. Okay, we'll call you Glorbo then. So wherever it says Paul, I'll say Glorbo instead, unless it's the Overseer saying it because he's a dick. And we don't want him to know the name. Run Decipher. Here we go. Glorbo. Break lock, break lock, break lock. Uh, okay. Got it. Success. This is the first data package we discover together. Glorbo. Intercepted radio. Okay, we got the cargo when it's full of souls. What do we do now? You said in your plan that we should be leaving through that highway that is completely locked down now. If we had followed my plan, we'd be safe now. Damn, okay, well, there's the pirate signal. There's that anomaly that I threw Paul into. All right, Glorbo, let's see what you find. If you've only committed a small mistake, there's nothing interesting where the probe is. You need to place the probe in the space of alterations you find around the rock you're standing on. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Shut up. It means I have to get the angle right. And... Huh. There we go. Run Decipher. Hello! Hey, Goob! How's it going? Having limited options for snacks or food is annoying. It really is. We've been dealing with that these last few days. Soups and sandwiches are good, though. I'm gonna... I just dip my sandwich in a soup. Hmm. That's good too. How you doing, Goob? Yeah, I got one. Let me drink some of my water. Literally eating saltines. Oof. Well, 
Hang in there, buddy. <sighs> Success. I think we are a great team, Glorbo. Intercepted radio. Safe. It cannot be safe driving a thousand miles through the desert without enough fuel. We cannot hide there for months without food or water until things have calmed down. We would all already be dead by the time we can be extracted. That was no plan. That is suicide. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no. Company policy is that I cannot be your friend. Like, ugh. There we go. Cast that bad boy out. Got him. I'm good. That's good to hear. All right, let's hit it. There we are. Space fishing. Success. This is fun. Let's see what it says. Glorbo. Intercepted radio. Those are your words, not mine. Trying to drive through a blocked highway is riskier than going low profile. We're in the middle of Lumina's Sector D2 on a massive ship we barely know how to drive with two suicidal options to choose from. We are loaded with what they now call illegal weapons. Why is it so hard to acknowledge them as sentient? Sky fishing, ye. You did. Waking, waiting for GTST to be on sale like... Here's a little mouse waiting for Guilty Gear Strive to go on sale. Look, I'm sorry, but please tell us, what do we do now? And that's what we needed. In the middle of Lumina D2 Sector, we got it. Sentient beings? These guys are delusional. You're fucked up, Overseer. That was the first job very well, do very well done. Good job, Angler. I'm glad you're with us. You can rest a bit if you want. You've earned it. But if you want to keep going, I won't be the one stopping you. I'll contact you later. Welcome to the family. Do your best, or you are dependable, so do your best. Yeah. D2 looks like DZ. It does. It does. May, I might have misread it. That's okay. It'll always be D2 in my eyes. Can I not go this way? Okay, yeah, there it is. That one's partially goatee open already, so we'll just toss that in there. Good, got it. Run the decipher. Dispensable. Ah, I see. The the pure honesty or the obvious lie. Su success. A. Padraig, thank you for handling me with care. Glorbo. Egdon. Padraig, is that you? It's been a long time. Do you still remember me? We used to meet at my lighthouse to play cards and look at the stars. Ah, another anomaly. I hope I get to cause more of these. Oh, that one's red. <coughs> Hit it. <coughs> Paul was sentient and you killed him. I'm sorry. I hope you enjoy your popped corn, Mr. Adam. Or your saltines in this case. Popped corn. Alright, 50% and 100. Alrighty, we got it. Break the lock. Break the lock. Oh no, I have to start it all over. Heck. That's a bummer. All right, and break the lock. Got it, and got it. Success, can't wait to see what this one says. Glorbo. Redacted, there's animals, the fish, the vegetables, and now they've taken us to a nice place. Well, that's horrifying. Glad I read that. Was that her in the background? Yeah, she's alright, I think. How you doing, hun? She shrugged. She's doing okay. That... No, come back, come back, come back! I'm afraid of losing Glorbo. Alright. A child. I'm sorry for killing him, Soviet. I didn't want to. That rock had a child. That's that log had a child. Sex. Oh boy. Good job, partner. You are the best angler I've met. Glorbo. It is. Intercepted CCTV. Mommy, mommy. Let's play hide and seek again. You aren't. Aren't you tired already? No, I want more. Okay, one last time. But after that, you're gonna shower and we're gonna have dinner. Understood? Okay. All right. So just the family playing. Alrighty. It really is. It, it really is just peak ex existentialism. That one looks not good. Let's read it, though. Got it? Success. Do you think we'll be able to work together forever? Glorbo. We lost our we lost our seat. Are you lost too, Patraig? Did you lose everything? 
Is that the reason you are you're here? It is it my fault you're here? Hmm. There goes another one where you've caused another anomaly. <sighs> Terrifying. <laughs> Considering a space angler fish is already nightmare fuel. Considering a regular uh, angler fish is already nightmare fuel, I can't imagine a space angler fish is much better. There we are. Hit it. Somebody put a burger in my mirror. Hi, Pansy. How you doing, friend? Run this decipher. Crap. Got it. Break that lock. Beep. Beep. Got it. Success. This is getting easy. Glorbo. Redacted. Listen to mommy, okay? We're going to play hide and seek now. And we're going... And we're a team. I'm going to help you hide. And now then it's going to be my turn. Okay. Oh, that's nice. I'm hungry. I'm also hungry. Uh, I'm currently a food I can eat, but I'm streaming, so I'm trying to avoid eating too much on stream. Because you guys know me. I'll just start stuffing my face out of nowhere. All right. All right. Oh, I think I missed it. Oh, I hit it. Cool. All right. Now we hit the other one. Good. Break lock. Great job. Glorbo. Probably. So, our C, our resources, our like. They are ksh, the foundation. The foundation. Well, shit. I really appreciate that, Pansy. Thank you. Sex. Alex, the, pro the child's probably dead. Yeah, it's still sad though. Most of these signals are probably from people that are long dead. They are sex. Click. Run the decipher. Boop. Run the bill cipher. Break lock. Lock broke. We are the best team, Glorbo. What is the foundation? A company? A government? God. We help the people. Uh, okay, this getting, that's getting kind of creepy. Well, I don't see any more signals here. Let's run around a bit. Those distant stars look like signals. How about this one? There we go. Hit it. Got it. Run the decipher. Got it. What is the foundation? Sex. Spy intro. Dun -na 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 -na. The sex has breached our defenses. No, you guys. Success. I can't believe we've seen ten packages already. Paul. What is the purpose of the game? I'm incredibly confused, Lamau. Well, we're an angler, and we get little stories, and we're piecing together a narrative of what is going on. So, I have no idea. It's a short game. It's only about... Uh, I said apparently it's like 30 minutes long, so... There'll probably be a story after this is all pieced together. I'm sending you a present, Pradrag. I'm going to give you the real thing. The Foundation won't like it. But I'm sure you will forgive me after all these years. It is a new probe. Unlocked. No more censorship. I'm going to burn this one up so you go and get a new one. No, Pablo! No, Glorbo! Your probe terminal shall be working slightly different now. differently now. Go try it out. Cheers, your friend, Egdon. Angler, I don't know what you're doing, but stop doing it. The readings I'm getting are not normal. What are you doing? I cannot read your movements anymore, and I notice there are way more anomalies than there should be. Destroy it all. You should be avoiding all the anomalies you can from now on. They are dangerous, and you shouldn't be surrounded by so many. Your probe is probably malfunctioning. I know this can be hard for you, but I have to ask you to get a new one. Don't worry. I'm on it. How many games have I played? God, I couldn't even count. Played? Uh, yeah, never gonna get a clear count. Beaten? That's a whole other thing. Wow. How many games have I beaten? Good lord. My old friend Pradrag, it is good to talk to you after so long. I was admiring the stars as we used to do together, and then I found you. I'm glad I did. Now that you have an unlocked probe, I can talk to you. It's not easy to modify these things from so far away. You are very much welcome, my friend. But anyway, I can't believe you actually did it. You decided to go into space by the end. 
in the end. And I also can't believe you're working for the Foundation after everything they did to us. Is this really the life you want to live? Sorry, got to leave. I have something in the oven and I think it's burning. Talk to you soon, my friend. Thick thighs. Oh, in this stream, we've played two, uh, two so far. This is number two. Hey, Pat. Yeah, you know what? That's fair. Now we have Pablo. All right, Pablo. Run it. You made the mistake of giving me this power foundation. That's how are thighs more sexual? Anyway, success. Success. This is what the fur. This is what for what I am doing here. It's the Ada package we discover together. All right, Pablo. There's nothing left. They took everything. The animals, the fish, the vegetables, and now they've taken us all too. I think there's only a few of us left. Where are they bringing us? I doubt they're bringing us to a nice place. Does anybody know anything about it? Pedrag, stop that. Stop casting your probe. There's something that is going very wrong. Did you do something to your probe? I read here you're accessing data you're not supposed to. Are you really the person you said you were? I'm starting to have my doubts about you. If you are with us, then you won't cast your probe anymore. You hear me? We'll fix the situation on our side. Talk to Paul, get to know each other a bit better, tell him how your life on Earth was if you want. Keep yourself busy without throwing your probe into space if you want to be merry. I'll reach out to you later. Oh, hey, look, another anomaly. Because it's near the... <laughs> you know, it is an interesting idea. Why do we sexualize breasts? Because if you think about it, they have no sexual purpose. Anyway, success. I think we... I think we are... Where's the rest of me? Ah, great team. Oh, God. I think Paul is a split... A, part of a split AI. Or Pablo is part of a split AI. Listen to mommy, okay? We're going to play hide and seek now, and we're a team. I'm going to help you hide, and then it's going to be my turn. Some people are going to come now, but you can't make a noise, or then you'll be caught and we'll lose. Do you understand? Yes! Okay, now enter here, and remember, not a single noise. We're going to win. Now it's my turn. I'll come to you when I know we've won, and until then, stay still, my love. They may not understand you, but there's nothing wrong with you. I love you. They are an erogenous zone, but there are a lot more erogenous zones than we thought. Yeah, it is an interesting thing. Success. This is fun. Let's... It, it is... Is it always so dark out here? Let's see what it says. Pablo. <laughs> Unedited. What is the foundation? You can see them everywhere. But what are they? A company? A government? We don't know anymore. When I hear people talking about it, it's referred to... Talk about it. Sorry. When I hear people talking about it, they refer to it more like a god. They sound more like organized crime to me. We help the people more like we help ourselves. Has the, has the Foundation contacted you already? They must have, or they will soon. They don't like it, do they? The Foundation doesn't exist where I am, so it's great. I am free now. I took the liberty of turning your new probe so it could listen better to what the Foundation is actually doing. I did this for your sake, Patrick. You deserve to know. They don't like it because you can see what they're doing. You're starting to know too much about them, Patrick. Everything and everybody has a price tag. You too, and I think you're starting to become expensive. God, I fucking like Egg, Egg, Egg Don. He's fucking awesome. I believe wrists or ankles are a big thing in Japan because they're normally covered. Oh, I mean, that's been a thing in the 50s. That was like, that was a thing in the 50s. Like, seeing a girl's legs was like, ooh, scandalous. Look at those ankles, you know? But people are still motorboating tits behind closed doors. No, I think it's because our society naturally builds up sex and gives sex more value. Or gives it more um, mystique than it actually has, you know? If it was all out in the open, I feel like people would be a little bit... I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like people would regard specific parts of the body so strongly. Or I'm just wrong. 
There'd also be a lot more people realizing they're asexual a lot sooner. Break the lock. Bam! Success! Hey, Padraig. Hey, Padraig. Thank you. Why can't I move by myself for help handling me with care? Pablo. I never had it. Yeah. It's good. I enjoy it. I just... There's a, there's a mindset on the internet, like just in general, where it's just... It's something that has such a strong hold over people that once you do it enough, it doesn't really have that on you anymore. Unedited. So, this is it. Is this how it goes? They come in, drain our sea, our resources, our life, and then they leave. And we can't do anything about it because it's going to be good for us. How is it going to be good for us exactly? They are killing us. You have to believe in the foundation. If they say it's good, I'll believe them. Can you get me that sandwich over there, please? A sandwich? Are you for real? Women's underwear and men underwear. Mm -hmm. I've honestly never understood the obsession with undergarments. Like, I never really found panties or bra to be that, bras to be that sexy. I guess it's just because I grew up around them. Oh, fuck. I dropped Pablo. I got you, Pablo. You're good. Alright, try that again. Got him. Where's the real... Yeah, I think Soviet's lurking. They're just the fucking combine. I think they are, yeah. Holy shit. Damn it. Success. Can't wait to see what... I wish I had legs, too. At this one, says... The mirror. Thank you. I'll look after it. Of course. You'll look after it. It's your boat now. You'll want to look after it if you want to make a living out of it. It's your boat now, huh? I hope so. Inside Pablo? Yeah, I hope so, man. That'd be great. This sandwich is pretty good. They did a good job with this. Break the lock. Good job, partner. You, your boss is scary. Are the best angler I've met, Paul. Oh, yeah, it's horrifying. The mirror. Why have you trimmed your beard? You don't like it? God, no. Well, I don't want to be mean, but have you lost your mind? <laughs> All right. I'll never cut it as short, I promise. Anomalies are growing. I'm really worried I'm gonna, like, come up and over in this, and there's just gonna be a creature waiting for me. Or, like, an enemy robot. That's not the sun. Okay. Or, right, that's the sun. That is the sun. Uh... Yeah, where's the next one? There it is. Waiter, waiter, one existential crisis, please. <laughs> Hell yeah. More biscuits, please! Alright, that one's done. Break the lock. And bleep. Success! Do you think we'll... I think I'm happier working with you. Be able to work together forever, partner? Pablo. The mirror. Come on, come on, come in, Padraig. I've already set up the table with the... Come in, come in, Padraig. I've already set up the tables with cu the cards and everything. It's all there waiting for us. Let's open that nice bottle. -y. Let's... Open that nice bottle you brought me for my birthday. If we're lucky, it'll last longer than tonight. <laughs> Maybe we can spot those weird circles in the sky tonight, too. I'm sure they're trying to say something. Angler, listen, and listen well. No, I know what's going on, and I don't like it at all. 
So I'm going to tell you what you have to do, and you are going to do it. You are going to stop casting your little probe into the special regions of space, into those anomalies. That's the mirror you're playing with, and mirrors can break. All our probes lock the incoming data there from there for a reason. You shouldn't have to know this, but to stop you from destroying everything, I'll tell you. The mirror is a folded dimension of space that keeps all the memories of the universe. These memories work like a magnet. Emotionally charged memories will tend to be close to the person or object that experienced them. Your probe Paul is tuned to be able to attract some of these memories from their location and bring them to where he is. The Foundation can tune the probe so we can see what we're interested in. We made it that way to keep everybody safe. Haven't you noticed those cracks that have been appearing around you? Your actions are the cause. What you've done is break that lock somehow, and if you keep doing that, you run the risk of breaking the fabric that ties space and time together. Nobody wants you to do that. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt and thinking that you don't want to do that either. I really want to do that, though. So I'm going to propose some healthy alternatives for your mind, body, and especially for the universe. You can sit down and talk to Paul. You can actually do the job you're being paid for, which is informing us about what's going on in space, the normal alterations, the useful ones. You can also do absolutely nothing. And here's a friendly reminder. You can't do what you're doing. Bro, I'm gonna do what I'm doing so fucking hard. I hope it rips space in half. Cause if this the world, if this is the world you've left me with. I would, ha I would sooner see it destroyed. Success. This is getting. Do you think there will be? Think, do you think this will be Edgon again? Easy. Edgon, would you like to live there? There where? Among the stars. I don't think so. I love the sea too much. I love this house. I'm happy living below this light. I think I would like to live there one day. But I would have to lose everything. I have, I have now to consider it. I have now to consider it. I hope it never happens. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Well, I'm not going anywhere, Pedro. Well, I'm not going anywhere, Pedraig. Neither am I, then. Are th were they a gay couple? That's super cute, if so. Were they a couple of besties? <laughs> they were very good friends. <laughs> that, would, that would suck fancy. There's been a few games where I've destroyed all reality in the universe. Beep. Success. Great. I'm glad I'm not alone out here. Job. But I can't... But I can't find him. He must be there somewhere. Stop it. He's not coming back. Accept it. It was probably in a storm. Oh. Edgon is gone. And your mind will be gone too unless you accept it. Here's your pint anyway. I won't serve you anymore tonight. Please, Patrick. You've had more than enough. It's fun reading, isn't it? Reading the circles. I spent a long time in my lighthouse deciphering the code I could spot with my telescope. They were very close friends. <laughs> I did it by hand. Took me a month or two to get one get one right. I... Aegon. Oh, it's Aegon. Aegon. Okay. I started to read things about myself. Things I said. Things I wish I hadn't said. Things I forgot or wanted to forget. Came back. And then I started reading things I was going to say. And then I started seeing you and the things you were going to do. And then I started to understand I could modify these circles. I could also send things through. And before I noticed, I sent myself through. I'm sorry. I didn't know I was going to do it until it was too late. I was experimenting. And I've been looking for you since then, Patrick. It's lonely here without you. And what I've seen about you. I'd say it's lonely there too. There's still water here. There are seas, and the earth is alive. There is life here, Padraig. Let's go. I want to go there. Success! We are the be- Are we friends? Steam S team, Pablo. The mirror. Padraig, you should find your- <clears throat> Padraig, you should find yourself a good wife. You spend too much time with that fella in the lighthouse. You, 
You seem to be the only one that refuses to believe he's crazy, but he is. Very much so, if you ask me. Have you seen this? Have this pint. It's on me. I'd like you to... I'd like to see you more around here, and less around there. I'm not interested... I'm not interested, pal. Yeah, they were dating. They were very much in love. I'm loving this. Fucking combine. Stealing our god dang water. Raid the combine. <laughs> Hell yeah. I like the part in episode one where they're like, okay, y'all need to start fucking because the combine stopped that for a while. And the uh, population's getting low. Being human. Success. I can't believe we said. Do you think I am alive? Absolutely, Pablo. You're our friend. Yeah, absolutely. You should try it. The mirror. Have you brought the books? I asked. Have you bought? Have you brought the books? I asked for Padraig. Yes, yes. Here they are. What did you do with? What did you? What did you want to do with them? They look complicated. I told you. I want to understand what these circles have to say. <laughs> I think you may be. I think you may be wasting your time. But best of luck with that, Aogun. These memories are sad, aren't they? I wish things had turned out differently back then. But I have some good news. Turns out these circles aren't only useful to receive data. You can also send mass through them. But it's a bit more complicated. I'm not sure if anyone else knows how to do it, really. But I think we can try again. Leave the past behind and start anew. I can set up a circle that can bring you where I am. Of course, only if you want. But it's going to be the only way to see each other again. Why is Eogan Apu? I thought it was Edgon, and I was like, okay, like Bogdan from Breaking Bad. So I was going to go with an Indian accent. Uh, which I kind of did, but I also feel like I'm slipping into my South African accent. I see you didn't listen well. What you're going, what you're doing is very dangerous. As you're not listening to me, we're coming to stop you. But Drake, good news! I managed to set up the circle for you to come. You don't need to do anything different. You only need to cast the probe as usual, but this time you won't be reading anything. Instead, you will be transported to where I am. The, the probe is already in the portal. Oh, and I am sorry, but I took o I think I took over a communication that was already going on. I'll disconnect so you can listen to what they have to tell you. I hope to I'll get to see you soon. Now that you understand everything that's at stake, will you still do it? I'm sure I don't need to repeat it to you again. Please, Padraig, do the right thing. I'm gonna go see my fucking husband, you sack of shit. My adorable, sexy Indian husband. Damn it. I imagine he looks like, uh... Biman. Or, um... He looks like Ram from RRR, if you guys know who I'm talking about. Komuran Bimuro. Komuran Bimuro. Success. What's... What is a sentient soul? Welcome. But Drag hears a roar, the sound of another universe breaking apart. Silence follows. He doubts. And then he starts to feel. The sea breeze. The splash, the splashes of seawater on his skin. The smell of slightly charred home-baked cookies. We have a lot to talk about, my friend. The stars are looking bright tonight. He smiles. And then they cry. <sniffs> ah! I love it! Oh. <sniffs> yes, fuck you. Destroy the universe to fucking get back with your husband. I love it. Oh, that was so good. <sniffs> ah! crying. God, that's so fucking good. And I just see Padraig as a selfish asshole. I mean, the universe wasn't much any worth of anything anyways, in its current state. And then he smiles. That's what I'm after. That was so fucking good. Alright. Ah, God damn. We're destroying the universes with the power of Yowie. Hell yeah. Woohoo! Gay marriage ending. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. We're gonna move on to our next game, which is going to be Sheepy. A short adventure. Who the what the hell is Yowie? It's uh 
it's uh, Japanese for gay media. Boy love. <laughs>